Hey guys, it's Mr. Fuzzy Lego, and today we're doing a very, maybe even a weird video of my Super Smash Bros. series. Today I'm not bringing you a fighter like Ken or Incineroar, but I'm actually going to be bringing you all of the items that I've made from Super Smash Bros. So, this will be kind of weird, so I'm just going to show you the items that I made from the game, and then maybe later I think show you some of the specific assist trophies that I made outside of the ones I've already shown, like Nikki and whatnot, and I think Isaac Technic counts now, rest in peace. But anyway, let's get started with, well first of all, I'm just going to show you my, well, I'm just going to have Mario appear just as a, a model. I also have Snake, he's going to be a model for us, and so is uh, We Fit Lady, We Fit Train will be a model. So these are our models, let's start with the very first item that I have to show you. Uh, let me see if I can get the video into focus here. So the first item I'm going to show you is, bleh, try that again. Oh, whoa. So, wait, 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 wait. So the first item I'm going to show you today are the Pokeball, or just the, the Pokeball. So I actually have three of them. Uh, I made them a while ago, so I just, you know, I thought I'd throw them in here. So these are the three Pokeballs. They're made out of these red Technic bricks with the bottom parts painted white, and you can just kind of see how it's made after that. I actually made these, like I said, a few years ago, so they're not exactly clean, but, uh, yeah, they're a Pokeball. So they're, those are those guys. Also, it's really weird. Let me put it into focus so it doesn't go off like that again. Uh, let's start with the Mario items that I have, and then I'll get into the other specific things uh, later, actually. So let's, I'm going to get all the, I the Mario items I have, or at least the items from Mario. And you can see uh, the first one is obviously the Super Mushroom. So this is just the generic one. I also made this one a few years ago, and uh, it's getting kind of old. You can see how it's made with a cheese slope PC. I don't know what they're officially called, but that's what I call them. And you can see that that part is just like the mushroom part is sculpted on. So I made this one a few years ago, so it's old as well. I might make a better one. And another item that's also really old is my fire flower that I made a year. I'm not, I don't even know if this one's still in the game. I just know it's in the Smash Brothers series. So you can see how it's made onto a, I think, Lego Friends stem piece. And then that's, you know, it's also available just so a figure can hold it. It's not painted in the back. It's also pretty old. So those are those items. I also have a, 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 some more Mario stuff. I don't know why I just randomly cut. The next one is, oh, whoa, the background went back down. Whoa, dropped it. Here is the next item. It is a Starman. So that's made, stop falling over, Snake. Come on. You're being really annoying. Eh. So the Starman is made out of one of these triangle pieces, but I cut, you know, the down so that it was more of a shape. I forgot when I made this, but I'm actually really happy with the way this turned out, and it's a cool little star piece. It kind of looks weird in the front, but it's a cool little star. And the last item I have from Mario is a green turtle shell, a Koopa shell. I made this for my Partners in Time collaboration that I did a really long time ago from Chuck Conroy. And uh, I just re repurpose it. And this is the, the, green shower, the green shell. The top of it is actually an army helmet from Lego Toy Story. And, that's, and the bottom is just a Lego head. So that is how that is made. Pretty cool. So those are all the items I have from Mario. Time to get into more of the other stuff. Um, from Donkey Kong... Banana gun. It's just a banana. There's nothing special about it. It's that's the banana gun. All right. Uh, let's go into Castlevania. We have the Death Scythe. I should have got my Ness so that I could show you what it was like when Ness was holding it. But it's made. I forgot where this piece came from. I don't even know if I remember if it's Lego or not. But if it is, oh yeah, does, does it Lego? Uh, I'm looking at the top to see if it says Lego. I think it does. Uh, I don't know if it does or not. But anyway, this is what it's made out of. The top part. And then the bottom, or there's a bunch of Lego stuff. This actually comes off, and you can see that's it. Made of, I don't know really where this came from. I don't remember, but yeah, many figures can hold onto the poles that I constructed, and then I also painted it and it like a blood on it. It's that's a dead scythe. And it's pretty appropriate. Uh, now I'm gonna get into before I get to my mother stuff, which is only a, it's not a lot. I'm gonna show you my Kirby stuff, and I'm really all I've got is a warp star, and I actually made this so I could do a. Uh, Oh, went dark. I could do a preview shot on my Instagram of the amazing uh, vocal lyrics for the Smash theme. So I have my Kirby here, which is an updated version. I'm going to make a brand new Kirby if I can find something that's a circle, like a, like a, a sphere, because I don't want to sculpt the circle. So I'm going to make a better Kirby by the time the game comes out, hopefully. And so I uh, just made a Warp Star for it. It's made out of clay, and the bottom actually has a Lego uh, stick in it. So basically what I'm going to show you is you can uh, attach poles to it. So here's a... Uh, you know, a clear piece, and if I zoom it out a bit, you're probably going to see the outside of the backgrounds and whatnot, maybe even my reflection, but you can see that it just kind of floats, I mean, it's, you still can't see it, but uh, you can see it's way up here, it's, 
put Kirby on it. I don't know if he's going to stay up, but yeah, there he goes. So there's Kirby up on the Warp Star. That's kind of cool. That's what that's, that's made out of. So, yeah, uh, that's the one thing I made from, uh, from the Kirby games. So let's move on to the other items that I've constructed. Now, now I'm going to get into the, um, whoa, we're out of focus really weirdly. That was weird. Try that shot again. Now I'm going to show you my Earthbound items, of course, because I love Earthbound. Now, I don't know if this is specifically from Earthbound or not, but I did make the new baseball. This is just out of a, uh, whoa, wait, put in the focus first. Whoa, it's, it's really difficult to get in the focus, but this is how it's made. It's made out of one of those little, like, round stud pieces that are flat at the top. I don't know if it's specifically from Earthbound, probably not, but it is uh, something I made. And now for the most, uh, most famous, probably, the Mr. Saturn, who's been in the game since Melee, and also is on the banner, which is interesting, because he's, like, one of the only items to be on the banner. Oh, it went down. So that's kind of interesting. He's more like a character, honestly, but that's interesting. Cool. Uh, this, the actual top of that is a toothpick, I think? And then the, you know, it's just a Lego head sculpted. It's a really nice little Mr. Saturn. The feet are sculpted and the nose is sculpted. And it's really cute. I remember it took a really long time to get the bow to get on there because they were just small triangles trying to glue onto his little stick. So that was annoying. So that is my Mr. Saturn. Might as well put it over there because he is kind of like a character. Well, put it into focus because it's being weird to me. This is a long video, wow. Uh, and then the, the last Earthbound item is the new Ramblin' Evil Mushroom piece. That is really cool. I remember when I first saw this, it was kind of cool. But how this is made, it's made, the feet are a, uh, one of these parts, you can see how it's done, it, it actually came off a little bit. And then the, the stem part is a Lego plant that I cut up, and that's the stem, and then the top of it is a dome, similar to, well pretty much is this piece that I sculpted onto to make it kind of flat at the top and nice. I painted it pink because I thought it was really nice looking. So that is my Ramblin' Evil Mushroom from Earthbound, and it fell apart. So let's go on to the final items that I have. And then these are specifically from Super Smash Brothers, I think. Well, first of all, I have the drill. I'm not sure if this is from anything specific, but I have the, I made the drill, so I, I'm, that, I made the drill. And now for the other stuff, Beam Sword. I made this uh, a few years ago as well. It's really dirty, obviously, but it is the Beam Sword from uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, next is the Soccer Ball. Here it comes. I'm not sure if the Soccer Ball is still in the game or not. It probably is. I should have checked on the website first. But here is the soccer ball. It's just a Lego soccer ball. There's nothing specific about it. So there, there it goes. We doesn't catch on fire. And now my favorite, uh, my favorite item from that I've made is the Smash Ball. Here it is. Uh, well, let me move it up a little bit. You still can't see it, but the Smash Ball is right here. It's actually made uh, like just like this. Uh, one of these pieces in a cylinder on the back to make it all round. And it's uh, really nice and shiny. I made a metallic black for that. And then the sides of it are painted in different, a bunch of different colors. Basically trying to make it look as accurate as I could to the actual Smash Ball. And it does connect on the back of this part. So that's that's why it's like that. Just like this. And yeah, I have shown this off in a few of my backgrounds of uh, my update videos. But there is the Smash Ball just kind of floating around. So you can either you can interchange this giant rod with either the Warp Star or the... Uh, the, the Warp Star or the Smash Ball. So that is pretty, I don't like Kirby's on over here, go over there Kirby. I don't really know what else to say, Th that is my Super Smash Brothers items that I've made, and I didn't even use these characters like I was going to model them for, but I, I didn't. So that's really it for this video guys, thanks so much for watching, if you did it was a 9 minute video, and I'm gonna head off now because I got stuff to do. So thanks so much and I'll see you later, bye.